welcome. My name is Tony. I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Thank you so much for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga, adaptive yoga. We're going to be spending half of the time in the chair, and should you want to, we'll come down to the floor halfway and do the rest from our back. If the floor feels a little far away, then bring the floor to you by lying on a mattress or a sofa or a supported reclined chair. Anything that's comfortable for you. Everything I suggest moving forward is simply that. It's a suggestion. It doesn't mean that everything is for you. So listen to what resonates with you, what feels good in your body. And if something I suggest is not for you, then just be simply honest with yourself. Maybe you need to adjust something, adapt it. Maybe you need to sit it out completely. If there's another movement that you wish to substitute anything with, please go ahead. Something that you know works for you and your body. We're always working with our body today instead of against it and trying to push. Never forcing, never pushing. We'll do a check-in to start with and we'll establish a breath. And we'll use that breath to take us through our practice. I'll keep reminding you to come back to the breath. And that way we stay anchored in this moment, listening to ourselves and what it is that we need. We'll move through the joints today. And again, if there's an area of your body that is a little tender right now, you need to take extra care of, please do that. And if one side is very different from the other, then allow that to simply be. We stay away from the stories as to why. We just work with what is here and present today. At any time, you can rest. And this is a recording. So at any time, if you're done, you can just stop the recording and go on with your day or evening. So starting in a chair that feels really comfy for you nice and stable above all else, and that you have some space around you that you won't be knocking plants off as you move your arms. I always give you the um, option right at the beginning to choose how it is that you sit. Sometimes we just sit down in a chair, we don't even think about it, but we're going to have a mindful posture here, and it's going to look different for each and every one of us, and it's gonna change up every day because we meet that seat with how our body is today. So feet a comfortable distance apart for you, whatever that means. If you like the support of the back of your chair, take it. If you wanna sit away from that support, then you can do that too. Shoulders stacked more or less over your hips, and then we'll draw the head back in space. So our head rests more or less over the heart space. And again, all of these cues are for you to listen to and dismiss if needed. Let's start down on the earth. You can pick up the toes if you like, spread them really nice and wide, or even pick up the balls of the feet, pushing down evenly through the heels, just a little bit, 5%. Just enough so we wake up our awareness to the connection down to the earth underneath us. If the balls of the feet are lifted, take them down too. And then evenly set the feet up left to right as best as you can, inside and outside edge of the feet. And when you're ready, the toes are lifted, take them down to the earth nice and softly, no gripping with the toes. And then just notice the surfaces underneath the sole of your feet. It doesn't matter if you've got shoes on or socks on, just notice the texture of what it is the soles of your feet are touching. Imagine it, sense it, feel it. If you don't have any connection down to that feeling, imagine it as best as you can. And then if you like, push down through the feet as evenly as you can, just enough, and it takes about 5% of our energy to, or our um, pressure to wake up some of the muscles in our lower body. You might just notice some of the um, 
quads lighting up here. You might even notice some of the lower belly starting to uh, get involved as well. Only 5%. And then we'll let that pressure ebb away and relax through the legs. We know that if we put a little tension on things and release them, we get a deeper relaxation. So let's do that one more time. Pushing down just gently through the feet, evenly left to right. That 5% pressure. Notice that. You might notice it in different areas and that'll be different for each of us. And then let that go and let the muscles of the legs, maybe even deeply through the core, relax and release. Let's take our awareness up through our legs to our seat, where the seat meets the chair. And you can make any adjustments you need to. And depending on the kind of chair you're on, if you wiggle from side to side, you might even notice the base of the pelvis, those two bony bits left to right that we're sitting on. And then just like with the feet, we'll even those up as best as we can with your body. And again, those shoulders coming over the hips. So for some of us, that means leaning more forward. For some of us, that means leaning a little back. And then imagine on an inhale, we inflate and lengthen the upper body, get really aware of the upper body on the exhale, like a sack of potatoes. <sighs> Let that settle down into the pelvis. And you can take another breath or so, like that big breath in. And then on that <sighs> exhale, we really allow our seat to take the weight of our upper body. Nicely done. And then from here, from the pelvis down, everything is grounded. Now we push gently, energetically down through our feet and seat a little to get this lifting up through our spine, up through the crown of the head as if we just got a millimeter taller. That way we're trying to find space a little bit through the torso. Allow those shoulders to roll back and down a couple of times in your own way. And let the shoulders settle and then the collarbones broaden. So we get this broadness, this width across the shoulders as well. Hands resting wherever they're comfortable. And here we are, mindful posture. With this, let's take a breath in when you're ready and on an exhale, make any big or small adjustments to allow this to be sustainable for you. So if we sat here for the next hour, this feels manageable and easy. Just a little bit more awareness to where our body is in space. And here I highly recommend softening your gaze, lowering your gaze or closing your eyes as we do our little check-in, noticing. Noticing this moment in time and we'll start off with the question inside your mind, how am I doing today? All kinds of things might bubble up. Just observe and notice. No need to get attached to any stories. And just get a sense. It's kind of like a little report card. Get a sense of how it is you're feeling. What's going on? Notice your mind. If there's anything particular on your mind today. And allow the mind the space to acknowledge what is there. Notice that if there are any emotions present today. Notice how your body is feeling. So expanding your awareness through your whole body to the very tips. Notice energy levels. You might notice sensations. And if you're noticing very loud, maybe familiar sensations in places that are tender or you have discomfort, take the time to notice other locations in your body that maybe are a little quieter, a little less familiar. And 
we take in the whole body as a whole. And again, if there's any tightness, do your best to relax that tension. If there's any adjustments you need to make to find ease, please do. And then we start to notice the breath in the body. We follow the breath in and out and we notice this expansion and softening. As we breathe in, our lungs and of course our ribs start to expand. When we exhale, there's this softening and letting go. Starting to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale in your own way. There's no way to breathe wrong. We're not trying to achieve a particular thing. So a little deeper, a little longer, and see how that feels for you. No straining, no forcing. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfy for you. If it's not, then breathe in your nice, easy way. Smoothing the breath all the way up to the top of the breath, all the way down to the bottom of the breath. Consider how the inhale slides into the exhale and how the exhale glides into the next inhale. You have this cycle of breath, almost like a circle. And even the pauses at the very top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale are part of that never-ending circle. You can even visualize, if you like, a circle in your awareness, inhaling, lifting to the top of the breath, exhaling, drawing down, and there's this ongoing cycle, circle of breath. If there's any forcing, straining that crept into the breath, then let that go, even if it means that circle is a little smaller. And this is the breath that we will connect to and keep coming back to this seamless breath, continuous inhaling and exhaling. So let's root down, feet in seat, just like we did before, rise from there through the torso and broaden across through the shoulders, still with part of your awareness on that circular breath. And with the very tip of your nose in front of you, let's start to create a circle inhaling up, exhaling down, and you can even follow that imaginary circle with the tip of your nose. This does not have to be a big movement. Bigger isn't better. Noticing where you feel this in maybe your neck, your throat, your upper shoulders, upper back. Anywhere else, we'll all feel it in different places. Nice and slow. Let's take another breath here and on the exhale, when you're ready, let's pause. Take that round in the opposite direction. Smooth and steady. Gently does it. Always adjusting things for your own needs. 
end of the next exhale, let's bring that all the way back through center. Re-establishing that mindful seat. And then let's take that right arm down, nice and soft through the joints. Connect to that circular breath. And on the inhale, we draw the shoulder round and up. Exhaling round and down, whichever direction you've decided on. And we try and draw a circle with the head of the arm bone in the air. Maybe the circles stay the same, get a little smaller or bigger. Connect them to that breath, that longer, steadier, circular breath. Then on one of your next exhales, let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Notice if there's anything you need to be aware of in this movement, something that your body needs an adjustment for. One of your very next exhales, let's pause and take that down. And then I'm gonna take that right arm up in a cactus. Palms towards me, or we can turn those fingertips on or towards that shoulder. The elbow can be down anywhere between the ribs and shoulder height. And then with the very tip of that elbow connected to that seamless breath, let's start to create circles here as if with the head of the elbow, we're drawing as perfect a circle in the air as we can. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe those circles stay nice and small. Maybe they get a little bigger. Maybe they stay the same. Notice if you're having any areas that are a little clunky, which is completely normal. And we try and smooth it out just like we smooth the breath. Option to stay here with the heart facing forward, the torso forward, or start to allow those shoulders to come forward and back. We get a little rotation through the spine. You can take the gaze with you if you want to get into the cervical spine. Doesn't mean the circles get bigger. Let's take another couple in this direction. Moving intuitively, always tuning into what your body's telling you. And then at the end of the next exhale, let's bring that heart back through center. And pause, taking the elbow down, keeping the heart facing forward. Let's take those circles in the opposite direction, whatever that is for you. And again, sinking it with that circular breath. Seamless movement, seamless breath. Even if there's areas that feel less than smooth. And then the option is here to stay with the torso facing forward or start to allow the shoulders to come with you. We get that rotation through the spine. Everything from the pelvis down stays the same, grounded, connected. And we're moving from the pelvis up. You can take the gaze with you, of course. Whatever feels natural to you. Let's take another couple. That arm is probably feeling a little heavy by now. And then at the end of that exhale, let's pause, take that arm down next to you. Give yourself a little wiggle and then let's take that hand into a tight or soft fist, elbow drawn in towards the ribs. Let's just circle through that wrist there. And again, circular breath, circular movement through the joints. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. And then when you're ready, open up the fingertips and the thumb and allow that to be part of that circular movement. And we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction too. Maybe flaring those fingers out, moving through all the joints of the hands. 
And then we'll pause that arm a little intuitive movement to release tension and we'll bring it back through center. Dangling that left arm down and down. Reconnect to that circular breath if it drifted off. And we start to bring the shoulder up on the inhale, down and round on the exhale. And a lot of people like to lift up through the elbow here. If that makes the movement easier in your shoulder, let this be your movement. It doesn't have to look a particular way. Inhaling and exhaling. I highly recommend closing your eyes or lowering your gaze to really tune inwards. Notice what your body is telling you today. One of those next exhales, let's pause and take it round in the opposite direction. You can always rest, if, of course, at any time. Inhaling and exhaling. And then at the end of that exhale, let's pause, come back to that mindful seat, and we'll take that left arm into a cactus. And stay with the hand there, or take it on or towards the shoulder. Elbow can be down by the ribs, up towards shoulder height, or anywhere in between. And with the tip of that elbow, we'll start to create circles. Slow the circles to the cycle of breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe the circles get a little bigger or smaller or stay the same. If you need to rest, please do. If you want to take that rotation through the spine, you can start to take the gaze with you as the shoulders slide forward and back. Next exhale, if those shoulders are moving, let's bring the torso back to center. Pause at the end of an exhale, take a rest if you want to, or we take it round in the opposite direction. Notice if your body's telling you anything, if a side feels different to the other, stay away from the story as to why and just get curious. How is it different? How do I notice that? option to allow those shoulders to come forward and back, maybe the gaze as well. Allow this to be your way of moving. It's going to be unique to you, different to everybody else. And then at the end of one of your next exhales, we'll come back through center and take that hand down with a little wiggle. Hand coming into as softer or tighter fist as feels good to you and the elbows are drawn in towards the ribs and let's circle with that circular breath round in the wrist. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Release the fingers and let the fingers and thumbs get involved in intuitive movement as you move through the wrist. Getting through all the joints and then let's pause and take those fingers and thumb round in the opposite direction. Any movement that feels really good to you and of course we're trying to get through all the joints. It's creating that synovial fluid. And then let's pause, take the hands back to support. Big breath in, exhale it out. And reconnect back to that circular breath. If you are sitting into the back of your chair, now's a good time to slide away if it feels stable for you. Just a little bit as we come down through the spine, get a little bit of um, more of a space to move into. Rooting to rise, broadening, and we connect to that breath. 
On the inhale, let's drag those hands back towards the pelvis as we, as we draw the shoulder blades towards each other. On that exhale, let's just send those fingertips towards the knees as we round across the shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to stay here. If you want to add on, we'll come down as we flare those front ribs forward, arching the back. We've got a little cow cow pose going on and on that exhale push the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair seat and that's the exhale so we've got extension on the inhale flexion on the exhale option to take this into the cervical spine if you're lifting your chin then lengthen the back of the neck forehead lifts so we've got not just hinging at the back of the neck but we've got that strength there protecting it on the exhale you can tuck that chin take the gaze down or of course the gaze can be inward. Take it down through the legs if you like on the inhale, imagine dragging the heels back towards the chair on that exhale, pushing down into the earth and we get a little more into the focus on the pelvis. Inhaling and exhaling, rolling to that anterior tilt on the inhale, posterior tilt on that exhale. You can stay here with the arms. We've already done quite a bit in the arms, resting and sliding up and down the legs. If you want to add on, we'll take those hands up towards shoulder height or in a cactus, your choice. And then on the inhale, we'll open that up, drawing the elbows to the side, maybe back behind us. On the exhale, draw the elbows in towards each other. They may not get there in that lifetime, this lifetime. And you can draw them down if that feels good to you. So on the inhale, we open it up. On the exhale, we draw it down. If you would like to, you can take the hands behind the skull, allowing the skull to be cupped into the hands. And on that inhale, lift the, the skull with the palms of the hands as we open the elbows. On that exhale, let's draw it down and in. Noticing if the breath can be kept in that circular breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And let's take another three or so. You can always rest, of course. And if it feels good for you to bring the torso down towards the thighs, you can always do that on the exhale. As much or as little movement as feels good to you, but that whole circular cycle of breath. Staying for more or less one more exhale. And then we're coming all the way up through center. The hands were up. Let's release those a little down next to us. Let's sweep that right arm up, over, and across. Drawing the forearm in towards that left shoulder. And then we'll roll that right shoulder down and away. So we can keep the space through the collarbones here as we draw those, that right arm in towards us. Keeping drawing that right shoulder down. And here we are reaching with those right fingertips. Any numbness, tingling here, please release. It just means that we're pinching nerves through that shoulder here. And we want none of that numbness and tingling. You may want to take the arm a little bit further away from you if that is happening. See if that helps. Otherwise, just connect to the breath. We're getting this opening across the top of that shoulder. On one of your next exhales, let's release that. Any movement you need to release tension, then we're sweeping that left arm over towards the right drawing it in towards your chest, but then rolling that left shoulder down. Same thing here, any numbness, tingling starts to happen in the fingertips or thumb, please either take the arm away from you or release entirely. And we're here just connecting to that circular breath, in and out through the nose if that's comfy for you. And notice what it is that you notice, what's your body telling you here, sensations. Listen to that language of the body. Mm -hmm. And then we'll release and bring that arm down. From here, 
coming into our twist. Let's rest the hands down. Again, a little space behind you may help with a little bit of movement here, but above all else, making sure you feel stable. Rooting to rise. This is the inhale on the exhale. Let's slide that left shoulder and hand back, right shoulder and hand forward as we twist to the left. Inhaling back through center. I'm mirroring you, of course. Keeping that right foot and hip anchored down. So we're keeping that twist through the spine. Never forcing in a twist as little or as much as feels like can move within the breath. So we're holding the breath here. Option to stay in this movement. Option, if you wish to, for three breaths, is to twist and stay. Now, if the hands are gripping a lot and holding you here, option to hover the hands. Keep that breath flowing, keep connected to that circular breath. Staying for that last exhale. When you're ready, we come back through center for the inhale. Coming to the other side. We root to rise on the inhale. Exhale, we're twisting to the right. Inhaling back through center. So the shoulders, the gaze are just coming along with you. You can slide those hands up and down the legs if you like. Or take them to a place that is more intuitive for you. And we're moving, keeping that left hip anchored back by pushing into the left foot somewhat, keeping that twist through the spine. Option to stay here in movement or we twist and we stay. Three breaths here, keeping the breath flowing, easy. And if the hands are gripping, let them do a little less work so the musculature of your torso starts to hold you in place here. Last exhale here, if you were in stillness and we're coming back through center. Big breath in, exhale it out. Nicely done. And then from here, we're gonna take those feet a little wider, getting into external rotation. Knees more or less on the same angle as your feet. And we're rooting to rise. So if you need more support, come back on the chair here. Taking that right hand dangling next to us and behind us, behind that um, right leg. Turning the palm up from the elbow. We're going to inhale those fingertips up. Push down through the palm on that exhale as if we're pushing through honey. Inhaling up, exhaling down. That left hand is supporting you on the left leg. This is all that feels really good to you, then please stay. No need to add on, more is not better. If you want to add on, we can move from the shoulder, easy joints here, again, as if we're moving through water. That left hand is there to support you if those right fingertips want to come up and overhead. Inhaling and exhaling. Notice how this is feeling. And let's take another three. You can always rest, of course. You can do less repetitions. If you don't need that left hand on the left thigh, you can dangle it down next to you or just rest it lightly so the center line of your body is a little more active. And on that last exhale, let's take that right hand down, any intuitive movement you need. Right hand comes to the thigh, same thing, other side. Let's take that left hand behind the left thigh. From the elbow, fingertips lift on the inhale, exhale, palm down. Great place to stay, right here. Maybe the side feels different if you want to add on, shoulder gets involved. And we're moving very gently, keeping that circular breath, that inhale all the way to the top, exhale down to the bottom. That right hand is there for support on the leg. Should you wish to tilt up and over to the right, any amount, you get to choose smooth and steady with the breath. So there's very little stillness here. 
And if you do not need that right hand for support, it can dangle down or come to another intuitive place. Now let's take another one or two breaths, moving at your own pace, tuning into what it is that you notice here in your body. through center, keeping that external rotation. If you need to adjust yourself, please do. Hands to the inside of the legs or the arms of your chair, depending on what's comfortable. Rooting to rise. Still, we have that connection to that circular breath. This is the inhale and the exhale. Let's dip that right shoulder down and, and come forward a little as we look to the left. Inhaling up, shoulder over hip. Let's stay on that right side. Exhale, we're coming down and forward, inhaling up. Now we're trying to get into the back body on the right side at the moment. So you may feel some very different places. Let's take another couple here. You can glance over that left shoulder if you want to. And then we're coming all the way through center. Take a breath here, we're coming to the other side. So this is the inhale. On the exhale, left shoulder comes forward and down as we glance to the right, inhaling up. Let's take another two or three here, keeping that circular breath in mind. Very little stillness here. So we're coming to the top and the bottom of the breath with that movement. Last one here. And then we'll come all the way back up through center. Big breath in. Exhaling it out. Nicely done. Let's take those feet in towards parallel. And just watch those knees a little side to side, getting any tension out of the way of those hips. Coming back to that mindful seat, and maybe things have shifted, maybe it feels really good to come back here. Let's take a big breath in. Exhale, release that. And then you can take a few breaths here, eyes soft, lowered or closed if that's comfortable. And just notice, notice how you feel, how your body is, mind, how you're doing. Stay here for as long as you like, just tuning in to what you notice. And when you're ready, I'll meet you down on the earth, whatever that earth is for you, a bed or the floor itself. And we'll be on our back. Make sure you have everything handy for relaxation, extra blankets, pillows, bolsters, whatever it is that you need, eye pillows maybe, and I will see you down on the earth. Here we are for the second half of class. Welcome again. Coming to our back, and again, making sure you have everything with you. Making sure that you have any extra support that you need. Say if having your head directly on the earth strains through the throat and chest, you can bring a supported folded blanket or towel underneath your head so you have that extra support. We'll bend the knees, keep them up towards the sky, feet a comfortable distance for you. If you would like to, let's pick the hips up and shift them a millimeter closer towards the heels. That way we get this length through the spine again. And rolling one shoulder blade underneath another. And here we have this lifting up through the torso and this broadness across the chest again. Take a big, beautiful breath in, and you can close or soften your um, eyes if you like. And on that exhale, let the bones really connect down to the floor. On the next few exhales, really allow yourself to feel supported by the floor, the support underneath you, the surfaces, whatever they may be. And then we start to notice this breath in the body coming and going, your own rhythm, and we start to steady it out into that beautiful circular breath as best as we can. We're never looking for perfect, we're just 
allowing that inhale to glide into the exhale and the exhale to glide into the next inhale. And this is just regulating the breath. Great place to be. Fingertips on top or beside the hips, elbows resting down so we're not straining. And then on the inhale, we just want to lift the belly up as if we're arching the back, sending the tailbone down towards the earth a little more on that exhale, as if somebody just pushed your belly button down into the earth, you're tilting the pelvis the other way. So the inhale, you've got that extension through the spine a little. And on that exhale, that flexion through the spine, so that imprint of the lower back. It's not a very good movement. What we're looking for here is the smoothness of that pelvic tilt. So imagine, if you like, a line coming from the top of your back pelvis and the tailbone. And the inhale of the tailbone is about a six o'clock on an analog clock. And then we're going to rock it all the way through to 12 o'clock at the bottom of the exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. And what we're looking for is that control of the movement. Noticing curiously, not with judgment, if you're tipping more to one side than the other. You can get the feet involved if you like on the inhale. Imagine dragging the heels back towards your seat a little as you tilt. On the exhale, push evenly uh, into both feet. And there we have a little more control. You can adjust this in any way you want to. If you'd like to stay here, just starting to get that smoothness that you connected the breath to with this pelvic tilt movement, please go ahead. Otherwise, we're taking those hands down next to the hips again, rolling one shoulder again underneath another. We're gonna keep with this pelvic tilt now. But next time on that exhale, as we push the belly down into the mat, push down into the feet, maybe the tailbone, the pelvis lifts a little, and then we're rolling back down. This is not a big lift. We're inhaling, peeling the spine off the earth, and then coming all the way down the top of that inhale is the arch in the back. Inhaling and exhaling. If you're lifting up through the pelvis or the spine any amount and you're finding the knees either coming out or in, imagine there's a block there and uh, if you have a block handy, of course, you can put it in between the thighs. We're trying to keep the legs as steady and stable as possible as we move through the spine. Option to start to peel that up through the spine a little more on the exhale and then that inhale top of the inhale we're coming back to that arch option to stay here and if you like the support of your hands here then keep it if you want to add on as you peel up option to lift the arms maybe up towards the ceiling in the amount or even back behind you as wide as you like and as you come down through the spine the hands come down to the earth. So allowing this to be your intuitive way. And again, we're rolling through the spine. You can rest whenever you want. Of course, and let's take another two or three. Notice if there's a place in your spine that feels really clunky or as if a whole lot of it is either coming up or down on its own um, instead of rolling through. No judgment here, just curious. Hi, notice that about my body. Notice if you're pushing more to one foot than the other as you come up or down. And we're gonna all meet at the top of an inhale with the pelvis down, belly lifted and then come back to a neutral spine. Big breath in here, exhaling it out. Nicely done. We're gonna keep that right foot on the floor and we're gonna peel up that left leg 
and we're going to take it in a 90 degree angle at the hip and at the knee. So the knee is more or less over the glute or the um, hip and that ankle is at knee height. I'm going to take the palm of that left hand towards the left thigh. Draw the belly button down into the earth. And you can do that, um, I have a little more control there, pushing into the right foot to anchor in that belly. And we're breathing here. Roll that left shoulder blade underneath you, so we're anchoring that left shoulder. So we're not lifting it up towards the ear, kind of like we did when we were, um, it's kind of that recorrection as we did when we were in the seat. Maybe this is where you stay, and this feels like a lot. Just leaving the palm on the thigh, the thigh on the palm. If you want to add in with that connection of the lower back imprinting down, you can add pressure, left palm pushing into the thigh, thigh pushing back. And we're still keeping that circular breath. This is asymmetric, of course. And if you're finding yourself holding your breath, you're putting a little too much pressure on there. You can increase that pressure or take it out. Let's take another three breaths here. Nice circular breath. Just as much leg work as arm work here. And then on that next exhale, I'm going to release that pressure. And take that left leg down. If you want to wash it in and out to release any hip flexor tension, you can. We can do the same thing the other side. And get the left foot down. Draw the belly in, and then we're going to lift that right leg up. 90-90 on the angle, and then we're going to take the right palm flat to the right thigh. Roll the shoulder blade back and down, so we're really wide across the collarbones. Connect to that circular breath. And with that left foot rooting down to anchor in that lower belly down into the earth, we start to add pressure if you want to. Palm into thigh, thigh into palm, and we're breathing. Steady circular breath. I highly recommend softening or lowering your gaze or closing your eyes as you do this. Notice what's happening in your body. Notice if you need to adjust or adapt anything. Let's take three more breaths here. As much or as little pressure as suits your body. And again, the back body imprinted on the earth here. Let's stay for one more breath unless you're resting. And then let's release that tension and send that right foot down to the earth and just wash that knee in and out here. Option two stay here. Option to redo what we just did. So coming to the left leg or the right leg. And then from here, option to bring both legs up. 90-90. The further those knees are over the belly button towards the chest, the easier this is going to be. The more the knees are over the hips or the glutes, then the more challenging this is going to be. Draw the belly button down into the earth, and then draw the shoulder blades down. Palms resting on the thighs here. And again, maybe they just stay there. If you want to lessen, um, then you can take the arms down into a cactus or a T or even behind your head, or connect it to that breath. Add just 5% pressure, palms into hands, uh, palms and hands, palms into thighs, thighs back into the palms. And if you want to arch the back here, draw that belly button down so we get that core connection. Let's take another three breaths here. And if you're on one side, you're going to switch. Otherwise, we're going to draw those knees in if you've got both together. Take a few breaths, and then we're coming back. And same thing again. Anchoring the palms into the thighs, thighs pushing back, belly button drawn down, so we're active here. Shoulder blades underneath you, and we're breathing circular breath. 
And again, those knees are coming forward if it's a little more challenging for you. Adding pressure if you want to add challenge. And then when you're ready, wherever you are, you know, release that pressure and either draw both knees in or you can take both feet down to the floor and just rock yourself side to side. Nicely done. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. We're going to pick the hips up, shift them towards the right side of the mat here. Arms in a cactus or a T. Now anchor down that right shoulder as we draw the knees up, in, and over to the left. If you need any support underneath that left leg to keep that right shoulder anchored, please take it a bolster, some pillows, anything that feels really good here. And then we've got a whole body twist. And you get to decide if you want your knees a little further up towards your chest or a little further away. Every little movement shifts the twist for you. So finding that sweet spot. And then when you found that sweet spot, then we try and find softness there. And every exhale, allowing those exhales to release and unwind tension, tightness. If there's another twist you wish to take, please do. Find the breath a little bigger, a little more fluid in that still circular breath here. The inhale sliding and gliding into the exhale. The exhale smoothing into the next inhale. And you can stay here for as long as you like. And then we'll take the gaze, the knees up to center. We'll take those feet down, shift the hips over to the left this time. If you want another twist, please take it. Otherwise, we're drawing the knees up, anchor the left shoulder, and then we're taking those knees off towards the right side. Any support you need underneath them, please take it. And again, you get to decide whether the knees are a little closer or further away. And we're opening up through at that left side of the body and keeping that contented breath coming in and out smoothly. And then when you're ready, we'll come up through center. Take the feet down, readjust yourself. If you like to curl in like a little ball, even bringing your nose in towards your knees, or take a happy baby, any other movement you want to finish off your practice, please go ahead and do that. And then when that is complete for you, we'll come into our relaxation, whatever that means. A lot of people like to have that on their back, maybe spread out nice and wide or knees together, ankles apart, constructive rest. Any extra layers, pillows, bolsters, blankets you want to add here, take the time to find yourself in a comfortable place. There's no particular way this needs to look. Relaxation is about just that. The more comfort we have in the body, the easier it is for ourselves to unwind and let go, which is the end of the practice. So choosing a space and a shape 
making it as comfortable as you can for yourself. So really tune into if you have a pillow underneath you, even it up, maybe anything at all, all the details. Let me take a big, beautiful breath in when we're ready. Exhale it out and let the bones start to sink into the support underneath you. Start to take a few breaths like that, releasing and relaxing. Allowing your bones to get a little heavier, exhale by exhale as they sink and drip deeper into the earth. We release the breath entirely, soften through the inner organs. Imagine spaciousness through all the joints, including the jaw. and inviting all the muscles to loosen and lengthen. Maybe starting at the crown of the head and allowing a wave of deep relaxation to wash through the face, softening and relaxing as it washes down through the shoulders, all the way through the arms and the fingertips. Invite that wave of relaxation down through the torso, to the pelvic floor, relaxing not only the front and inner body, but the back body too. Releasing through the hips, and all the way down through the knees, the ankles, the feet, to the tips of the toes. time you need in certain pockets in your body that are a little more reluctant to unwind. No judgments, no stories needed. Just be aware and send your breath and some softness into those areas bit by bit. Moment by moment, everything starts to unravel. Where nothing is asked of us. We are simply here resting and allowing ourselves to be. the mind gets busy, imagine it like a radio station. And imagine like an old radio dial and just tune it out until the thoughts drift away. And maybe you have a moment of gentle quiet. Every time you are aware of a thought, mentally turning that dial, tuning it out with the curiosity, huh, I'm thinking about that thing again, and I tune it out. Allowing your 
yourself to slide and glide deeper into this calm you're creating for yourself. Staying there for as long as you wish, and if you wish to stay for longer, tune my voice out, let it wash over you, so you are undisturbed. If you wish to finish up your practice without needing to even twitch your eyelids, feel into the space you're in. Get a sense of that support underneath you, underneath your body, all the surfaces. And notice your body as it's resting tip to toe. And we start to allow a little deeper inhale, a little longer exhale. Noticing that breath as it comes in and out, noticing how familiar it is to you. And you can stay exactly as you are for the end of your practice. If you wish to draw yourself into a different shape, then allowing intuitive, slow, lazy movement to awaken in your body. to draw you slowly, gradually into your final completion, if that is a different shape, or you're staying exactly as you are, everything is perfectly fine. If your hands come into a natural gesture of closing, please honor that. Otherwise, wherever you are, let's take a beautiful breath in together. Exhale, dipping your chin slowly towards your heart space in honor of yourself for turning up today, for doing as much as felt right for you and for honoring yourself by dismissing things that didn't work for your body, thanking yourself for your discernment. I thank each and every one of you for being here, from my heart to yours.